Hey dolls! So today, make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth because I just reapplied. So I just had my 27th birthday and I'm filming this the day of. Uh, Alan just dropped me back off after taking me to dinner. It is currently almost 11 p.m. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a pretty good day. I unfortunately did not vlog this year because the really only vlogging that I did was opening presents and I'm showing you guys what I got right now anyway, so I don't think that I need to post the vlog. Honestly, this year was very chill. I didn't really do much this year. I woke up, went to breakfast with my mom, came home, chilled at home for about three, four hours. Then my sister and nieces showed up. They gave me some gifts. They sang happy birthday to me and that was that. And then Alan showed up, took me to dinner, and then here I am now. So it was a really chill, laid back birthday. Anyway, uh, I guess let's go ahead and get on into this birthday haul. As you guys may know, I work with Sugar Bear Hair on my Instagram. I have worked with them for two years now. I've been taking their gummies every single day for about two years or so and I love working with them not only because their product works for me genuinely. Keep in mind that their product is going to differ and vary for different hair types, different diets, different everything. Not everyone is going to see the same results. Anyway, that is not the point of this. The point of this is I work with Sugar Bear not because I genuinely like their products and I genuinely have seen results with their products, but they treat their influencers immaculately. They respect their influencers and they are just so kind and caring and generous and sincere. And I love that about companies. That is why I work with certain companies that I do because they genuinely care for the mental health and well-being of their influencers. If I can't make a post on time or if I'm postponing working with them for a little bit because of family emergency or I just don't feel good that day, like I'm going through depression or anxiety or stress or whatever it is, they are understanding. Like they respect and understand that. They don't just drill my butt because they're so angry that I didn't post on time or whatever. They they very much respect their influencers and I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be working with them. Last year for Christmas they gifted me a Tiffany bracelet and it was like one of the little jelly bean bracelets that had my initials engraved in it and it was so sweet and so thoughtful and this year I woke up to a flower delivery from Sugar Bear Hair and it was so sweet of them. Here is a picture of what the bouquet looked like. It came with a gorgeous little red vase on the bottom which you can't see in the photo but it was just so sweet and so thoughtful of them and I just and they are just so kind and caring and generous and sincere and I love that about companies. That is why I work with certain companies that I do because they genuinely care for the mental health and well-being of their influencers. If I can't make a post on time or if I'm postponing working with them for a little bit because of family emergency or I just don't feel good that day, like I'm going through depression or anxiety or stress or whatever it is, they are understanding. Like they respect and understand that. They don't just drill my butt because they're so angry that I didn't post on time or whatever. They they very much respect their influencers and I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be working with them. Last year for Christmas they gifted me a Tiffany bracelet and it was like one of the little jelly bean bracelets that had my initials engraved in it and it was so sweet and so thoughtful and this year I woke up to a flower delivery from Sugar Bear Hair and it was so sweet of them. Here is a picture of what the bouquet looked like. It came with a gorgeous little red vase on the bottom which you can't see in the photo but it was just so sweet and so thoughtful of them and I just... It just really means a lot to me. So Sugar Bear, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the flowers again. I love working with you guys. You are just literally the sweetest and I can't wait for all of our further cooperations in the new year. Now moving on to things that were from friends, family, 
etc. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is something I already mentioned, but my best friend Angel got this Morphe palette for me. You guys saw this in my last favorites video. This is the Such a Gem palette. It is beautiful. I've been using it a lot. I'm using it on my eyes today except for the blue and the glitter, but all of the purples and the pinks are from this palette. I have been obsessed with it. I have been completely loving it. Such a good, good staple palette if you're someone who heavily uses uh, pinks, purples, and mauves. This is a great. It is my favorite palette in my whole collection. <laughs> so I am... Um, I'm in love with it. So thank you so much, Angel, for gifting me this. All right, then I'll go ahead and show you the things that my sister got me. The little card she got me looks like this. It just says sis on the front and has a beautiful rose with some cute little white glitter lace details on there. Very pretty. And then she got me a couple of these really cool, like, all-natural things. She got me a honey stick, and this is just, like, a regular honey stick. It's not, like, one of the CBD ones or anything, but I love these. I love using them in my teas and things, especially when I feel, a, like, a runny nose or a sore throat coming on. Those are awesome to just squeeze into my teas. She got me two little uh, cotton candy suckers and a Pops Chocolate Shop button. This is from Riverdale. If you are aren't familiar. We both watch Riverdale, so she thought this was a cute little cheeky gift to give me. Then she got me two kind of like all natural organic items. The first is a lip balm, and this is Orange Blossom Honey by The Naked Bee. This is from The Body Shop. This is uh, almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin, which is great because I have super dry skin. Soothing and caring cleansing bar. So it's like a little soap. With that is this awesome little pad right here. And at first I thought this was like to scrub your body with, but this is actually to set underneath of the soap in the shower so that it doesn't slip around and supposedly you don't waste as much of the soap because the soap isn't just like sitting in a puddle of grime and goo and it keeps everything a little bit more clean which I like so that's a really neat little thing to try out then there is also these little bath salts it's like it's called pixie dust bath soaks and she got this from bath by bex.com right here on the bottom you can see and I'm not sure if this is a local person or if this just is someone that she found online but they make like CBD bath bombs and salts and things like that and this smells pretty good like I'm really excited to try this out and it looks like cotton candy yay then there is also these little bath salts it's like it's called pixie dust bath soaks and she got this from bath by bex.com right here on the bottom you can see and I'm not sure if this is a local person or if this just is someone that she found online but they make like CBD bath bombs and salts and things like that and this smells pretty good like I'm really excited to try this out and it looks like cotton candy yay and the last thing that she got me I am so excited for she found this on Facebook marketplace so someone local was selling this this is a vintage Aristocats mug and I am so excited about this. It's got O'Malley, Duchess, and, and my prized little Mari right there on the front. It says the Aristocats. It does have a tiny little nick right here, but honestly, it blends in with the detail so much that you don't even notice it. And hello, like, it even says it was made in Japan, which is so cool. I love Japan. And the inside is blue. It is just so cute. So... I'm so happy she snagged this. She was so proud of finding this for me and it is so good. She did great. So I cannot wait to add this to my mug collection because I am a mug fiend. I, I love mugs and cups so much. And like I said, I just, I can't wait to add this one to my collection. Okay, moving on, I will show you guys I guess the stuff that my mom got me, she got me this card and this is ironic because this is the exact card that I gave my friend Angel for her birthday, but it's so cute. I have to show it to you guys. It's got this little dog on here and it's wearing a crown and eating cake. And it says, on your birthday, you might get fabulous gifts and undivided, almost worshipful attention. It's kind of like being me for a day. Enjoy it. <laughs> So that just shows you like how much similar my mom and I are to each other. Like I got this for my best friend and she got it for me. So I'm 
I am my mother. <laughs> also from her, she got me this little wall hanging. It says, together is our favorite place to be. And then two movies. The first one is A Dog's Way Home. I watched uh, A Dog's Journey? Yes, A Dog's Journey, I think it was, with Alan, and I bawled my eyes out, and I kind of made a huge deal about it, and I wanted the whole, like, trilogy or whatever that's out, because there's A Dog's Purpose, A Dog's Journey, and A Dog's Way Home, and so I'm excited to crack this one open and watch it, because I've only seen the second one. I haven't seen the other two yet. And then she also got me, I had put on my wish list that I wanted The Lion King that had a digital copy included, and for whatever reason, she got confused and mixed up thinking that I wanted the original Lion King, not the new live action one, even though I think I put live action or 2019 on my little wish list. So she accidentally got me the original one, the classic one. I already have this DVD, but I don't have one that has the digital copy with it. So this is really cool. I'm still going to keep this. I'm still going to cherish this because it does have the digital copy. And let's be real, I don't really need the digital copy now because hello, Disney Plus is out and Disney Plus is everywhere and it has this and it's amazing. But I am going to keep this as like a little collector's piece anyway. I think it's kind of cool to have different versions of the same movie, just like different box artwork and things because it's more of a collector's item that way, you know, so. I'm not mad about it. I love this movie so much, so I don't care if I have 10 copies of it, to be honest. Okay, and then... My mom got me a Lady and the Tramp Lady Plush. Uh, this little ribbon on here is just temporary. I just put that on there because I wanted it to like mimic, because I knew that she was getting this for me and she wanted to wrap it up, but like it would take too much time. And since I already knew what this present was, I was like, oh, let me put a bow on it like she has in the movie. And so I just like threw like this random little bow on here. It looked so much cuter earlier, but it's one of those like pliable ribbons that has a wire in it. So it got kind of like smashed, but yeah, I threw a bow on her, but she is so cute. You guys can get her from the Shop Disney website. I'm going to tell you guys a fun little story. Sometimes I like telling you guys these quirky little stories in my uh, birthday haul videos because then it, it kind of gives you guys more meaning to the gifts that I get. So this mangy, crispy little boy right here, I sleep with him every single night, okay? Like... And it's not that he has super sentimental value to me or I can't sleep without him or things like that. It's just comfort wise, I guess. Let me explain. Okay, I am fairly large chested and when I sleep at night, I am a side sleeper and I do not wear a bra to bed. So my boobs are constantly smashed together. Okay, it's very uncomfortable. So I got him this little wolf guy. He's a Douglas plush. He did not look like this when I got him. He was so fluffy and cute and adorable, but now he's just a ratty mangy mess <laughs> because I have slept with him in between my boobs just like this every single night since I got him. He gets baths every few weeks, but he's still grubby. Like he is old. He has matted hair and it, yeah, it, his, his nickname became boob wolf. Okay, because he's a wolf and so woof, you know, you get that part from it and he sleeps between my boobs. So hence boob woof. He is comfortable for me to sleep with in between my boobs because I got some big girls and I don't like them smooshing up against each other in the middle of the night. Okay, so my mom got me a new boob woof, <laughs> one that doesn't have this type of hair on her whole body. So in theory, she won't get mangy and disgusting as quickly as this little guy did. She's about the perfect size and she's going to fit perfectly there. And yes, hopefully, hopefully this will be a good replacement. I'm going to try to brush him out the best that I can. If you guys have any tips on like getting this matted hair to look like this again, let me know. Drop all of your comments down below. I've used um, like pet brushes on him before and things like that, but he just isn't cleaning up how I want him to. So let me know if you guys have tips and tricks on that. I don't plan on just like getting rid of him completely. I'll keep him around, but I'm replacing him as far as sleeping with and taking on trips. Yes, I sleep with a stuffed animal every night. I'm 27 years old, but hey, 
it's okay. It's fine. If you sleep with a stuffed animal, let me know. Let me know what it is that you sleep with and if you can sleep without it. And if not, do not feel ashamed. It's fine. If it brings you comfort, if any sort at all whatsoever, do not be ashamed of it at all. I'm going to try to sleep with her as a boob woof <laughs> replacement tonight, but I can't, I can't come up with a name for her because boob woof doesn't fit, obviously. So boo I don't want to say boob lady. That's that's odd as if boob wolf isn't and then the last thing that my mom got me I have made it a goal I have set it in stone and I am the type of person where if I want something bad enough I go full go oh, lo, 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 lo. I go full force head on and I chase that dream down and I stomp it to the ground and I make it mine and so that's how I was with my Disney trip when I took my mom. That's how I was with my Disney trip when I went with Alan. That's how I was when I just took my mom to Dollywood. For me, as far as experiences go and traveling goes, those are like huge like bucket list items for me. And so I chase those dreams as hard as I can. And I am setting it in stone now. Mark my words at this very moment. I have always, always, always wanted to be in Disneyland on my exact birthday, like the exact date. And I'm going to work my butt off and make this happen. I will be in Disneyland in Anaheim, California, mark my words, on my 30th birthday in three years from now. Like I am setting it in stone. I'm making this wish happen. Like 30 is a milestone birthday in my personal opinion. And what better place to spend that at than the happiest place on earth. I mean, like my second home, like ugh, I'm just so happy when I'm there. So I haven't decided who all I'm taking yet, but, um, it will probably be a couple people at least. And I'm, I'm going to do it right. And I'm going to do it big. And I am working really hard towards it. So plus my mom's heart. Oh my goodness. Um, for my birthday, she got me this little like money box. You know, you can, you've seen these where you there's a little slot in the top and you just put your savings in here. These are really cute. Um, she got me this one. It says hopes and dreams and there's a $20 bill inside. And then she put a post-it note on it that says Disneyland 2022. Like in the moment, I didn't like you know, start crying or bawling or anything like that. I didn't get super emotional, but like the more I'm like sitting it here and looking at it, I'm just like, oh, like she really believes in me. Like I am so blessed and thankful to have the mom that I have. Um, she is always on my side 24 seven, 365. And she's always been there for me and it's so cool to have someone that I'm that close with and especially at being a parent you know because not a lot of people have that close bond or that close relationship with their parents and so for me that's really special and this right here is just a little sign that like she wants me to chase my dreams and she wants me to fight for what I believe in and she wants me to like go at it head on and just kill it you know and Oh, it's just like little gifts like this that are just like, oh, like this is, I'm going to cherish this for so freaking long. It is so special and I can't wait to fill this up so I can go back to Disneyland. Honestly, I'll probably go back before my 30th birthday to be real, but um, I'm going to keep a separate fund specifically for my 30th birthday so I can be there then. So this is... Uh, so sweet i ah, i freaking love her so much then <laughs> the last few things are from my fiance so my fiance got me a gift card <laughs> to get my nails done and i'll show you my nails in a second but i want to tell you the little backstory before i do so this year i didn't have any plans i was like oh i don't know i've been wanting to get my nails done for a while for the holidays maybe but i just i don't have any plans 
for my birthday at all because Alan, who is my fiance, he had to work all day long. He worked an 11 hour shift and so I wasn't going to be able to see him most of the day. So I was like, okay, well, what can I do with my day? You know, should I go get my nails done? Should I go do this? What should I do? So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to go get my nails done. And we were sitting in my room one night, like a few nights prior to my birthday. And I was like, yeah, I think I might just go get my nails done. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. And he's like, oh, well, I hope you don't follow through with those plans just yet. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? And then the next day he took me out to get food or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he's like, hey, look in the glove box real quick. And he's like, do you want your early present? And I'm like, no, I don't want my early present. Like, you're supposed to give me my present the day of my birthday. And he's like, but that's not going to work because I got it to be intentional as an early birthday present. And I'm like, okay. Oh, it was Panda Express that we went to. We were in the drive-thru at Panda Express. And he's like, just open the glove box. Just, just do it. And I opened it up and there was a little gift certificate for my nail salon in there to get my nails done. And I was just like, oh, that is so sweet and thoughtful because he knew that he couldn't, you know, be there for me throughout the day, but he still wanted me to have a nice time and everything. So I did, I went and got my nails done the day before my birthday, which was the sixth. And I took in this photo right here, creds to the person uh, watermarked on there, their little screen name. I got full inspo from this picture. It just gave me like vintage vintage birthday Barbie vibes and I'd never had clear nails before so I was like oh I want to try these out this looks pretty cool they kind of look like um like five-year-old press-on nails or something that you would get in those cheap little kits at Dollar Tree and stuff when you were a kid but I, there's something about it that I just love like I don't know if it makes them kind of look like glass or what ignore my scaly dry fingers and cuticles. Just ignore that. They're dry. I need to lotion them up tonight. But here are what the nails look like. They look very close to the picture. Of course, I use different glitters, but they came out so much better than I anticipated. They're definitely different. You can see the bottoms there. They're definitely different. They're definitely quirky and fun. Not everyone's cup of tea, which hello, that's how 90% of my aesthetic is. Not everyone's going to like it, um, but I kind of love them. And I did get like the coffin shape, just like the photo. It's hard to show them because they are clear, but I don't know. What do you guys think of these? Do you think they're tacky? Do you think the clear nail look is kind of cool? I love it because they look so different and unique. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to get it to where you could see the, all the little glitter pieces in there. Props to my nail tech who had never done this before and I'm so proud of her. So she definitely earned that gift card 100%. And then Alan also got me a single red rose with a little ribbon around it. And then he also got me, this was on my wish list. I had been wanting a Pandora bracelet for quite some time. And I figured that this would be a wonderful present for him to get me because he can add on to it. Um, over the years, he can buy me new charms and we can basically like build this bracelet together. So like if we go on another Disney trip or something, we can pick up a charm. Or if we go somewhere else that has a store, we can pick up a charm from that location and just kind of build the bracelet as we grow together and it just makes it easier for him to get me a little gift like for Christmas or birthdays or whatever in the future because he has a really hard time shopping for anyone not just me like he struggles a lot during the holidays as far as shopping for people goes so this is just something that kind of helps him a little bit <laughs> it aids to helping him struggle a little less <laughs> and cause him less stress during the holidays so he got me this Pandora bracelet, and I'm not exactly sure which one this is, but it is one that has the little heart connector. So it says Pandora right there, and then it has the classic O logo, just like so. And it is one of the ones that is kind of, that will stretch out over time, the more you wear it and the more charms you put on it. And then the charm that he got for me, this is ever so fitting. This is the Disney Parks Sleeping Beauty Castle charm. 
I love it. I cannot wait to add more charms. And it does say Disneyland on the bottom. Not sure if my camera, there we go, now you can see it. It does say Disneyland on the bottom. So he didn't buy it from the park directly, obviously, but it is authentic and I am so obsessed. I cannot wait to build this guy up and just make it mine. I'm so happy and I'm so excited and it's so special and I love it. And I love that the very first charm I got is the castle. <laughs> Especially when we went on our trip in March for our 10th anniversary, the castle was closed due to refurbishment. So the fact that he got me the castle charm, even though he hasn't even seen the castle in person, just shows like how much he knows that it means to me and everything. So it's really special, it's really cute, and I love it. So that is everything that I got for my 27th birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you are new and this is the first video you are seeing of mine and with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then so long stay strong stay true and be you. All right